Now to that big trade deal with Europe the Prime Minister is promising. He's been trying to get it signed for years and now it seems we may be on the verge. It could be worth billions to Canada's bottom line and would open up access for Canadian business to as many as half a billion European consumers. But free trade always comes at a price to someone and as Mike Drolet reports this time it's Canadian farmers. Since 1958, George Chioros has been the cheese guy at Toronto's historic St. Lawrence Market. He works on supply and demand. Right now, 60% of what he sells is foreign made and cheaper. Especially the people that come uh, from Europe, you know, they want their own cheeses, they stick with their own cheeses, they like it, they love it, and they want to pay less. And if, as expected, the trade walls erected to keep European cheese from flooding the market crumble, he has no doubt who will suffer. Canadian dairy farmers. Cheese was on everyone's mind in Ottawa today as Prime Minister Stephen Harper floated a trial balloon in caucus, suggesting the biggest trade deal since 1988's North American Free Trade Agreement is near completion. We are expanding our trade, he said. We will soon complete negotiations on a comprehensive economic and trade agreement with the European Union. To get something, Harper had to give something. And leaked details point to dairy farmers taking a hit. Dairy farmers are shocked by the magnitude of this uh, giveaway and uh, we are upset. We are farmers across the country are angry. The EU currently has the right to ship about 13,500 tonnes of cheese to Canada each year tariff free. The new deal would more than double that to 30,000 tonnes. It's significant because current duties on anything over that is more than 200 percent, which largely freezes out foreign producers. I am very concerned that Stephen Harper will be throwing Canadian dairy farmers under the bus on this one. Now the quid pro quo is what's important here. It's believed Europe would allow more access for Canadian beef producers, as well as Canadian assembled cars. Why is this important? because the EU has 28 members and 500 million consumers. We're getting access to a market that's between 15 and 20 times our size. So this is uh, potentially large and will be felt all across the economy. Now, government officials are hoping dairy farmers look at the bigger numbers. 90% of what Canadians consume is made here. But based on initial reactions, they're in for a fight. For the deal to go through, Canada's 10 provinces and the EU's 28 members have to approve it. And the dairy farmers of Canada say it's very aware of that fact. Mike Drolet, Global News.